So this is a quick tutorial on how you can run Smog 72B or any open source model locally without going through all the hassle of downloading the code and stuff like that. So we use something called Ulama in order to do this. Ulama is only available for Mac and not Windows right now, something that I want to explicitly clear before you move forward with the video itself. So in order to download Ulama, go to Ulama slash download and you'll see a couple of options here. So there's Mac OS, Linux, and you can see there's the option of Windows, but it's great out meaning it is not available for windows right now but they are working on it and when the windows system or windows update is released i'll have like a full tutorial to walk you through how it works so once you have it downloaded just open the file and you can see you will see a pop-up like this go ahead and click next and then install it in the command line this is important and it will ask you for your password and then in order to run Olama itself, you saw there was a command there. Let me show you show that to you again. These are like the terminal commands. And I'm going to, you know, in a little bit show you how you can run and download these models locally in order to access and chat using these models. So once you have it installed, you will notice that when you click on Olama, nothing will happen. I tried, I tried this a couple of times when I was first trying it. But then I went ahead and I opened the terminal. I typed Olama and you can see I have the help text here. And then there are a couple of options that I can do. It basically says that it's been successfully installed in my local system and it's running. So that's all we need from there at this point of time. So to install any model locally, what you typically would do is type something like Olama run and the name of the model. So in this example, you can see I'm doing Olama run Mistral. What this is effectively going to do is going to start downloading the model itself. And you can see the model is around 4.1 GB. It's starting to download the model, but obviously we are not looking at Mistral here. We're looking at Smog. The command for Smog, by the way, is not directly Smog. So don't go ahead and do that. It's a very specific command that I'll add in the description. Let me open the terminal and I'm going to pause it here. So this is the command. You can see Olama run. And then there is like the command here that kind of downloads the smog in your local system. Now, the only issue that I discovered was that the entire model was 43 GB, which is beyond what I have currently in my Mac. So I'm going to be trying to download Mistral locally and see if I'm able to make that work for you. But that's how you pretty much download any model, open source model locally in your system using Olama interface. Now, let me show you where you can find different commands in order to install these models locally. So in order to access different models available on Olama, just click on models. And then this is going to give you an option and a list of different models that are available on Olama. And then you can see there are the number of people who have pulled the models per se, and then the tags and so on and so forth. So let's say we want to run this one. If you open this model, this is going to give you a couple of things. First, the description about the model, then the usage, right? So the command in order to install the model, just like we did for a different model, which was say Olama run, Lama or Olama Real Mistral and so on and so forth. And then once you have the model installed, then you can chat with the model. So in this scenario, the user is trying to chat with an image using the LL Lava, L Lava model, which is effectively a model that allows you to have like a vision capability locally. And this is the Lama 72, Lama 70 billion parameter model that you can also run locally once you install it using Olama. You can see the memory requirements here. So seven billion models requires at least eight GB of RAM, while these two models require insanely high amount of RAM. So before you install any of the model, it kind of makes sense to go through you know the requirements here. Then if you go to Mistral, which is the model that I'm installing locally to show you, you can see there are no direct requirements listed here but you can see it outperforms llama 1 and 2 both 13 and 34 billion parameter and then there are different pieces of information but you know you can also go ahead and read news here go to hugging phase and run the model there but yes this is where you will find all the models available on ulama let me try to find if there is smog here because it took me some time to find smog you can see it's not directly listed here but i was able to find the code for smog so they very recently added and it's not available on Olama right now, but you should be able to find if you do some basic research on Google, they have very recently added it while it's not directly available or apparent here. You can see the model is almost downloaded now. I still have around four minutes or something to go before the entire model is ready for me to chat. So 
just going to share my screen again. By the way, I just wanted to show you this. So this is the icon that will tell you if Olama is running or not. So if you try to run something like this, Olama run Mistral, before you run this, it's going to show you could not connect to Olama app. Is it running? Now, when you run this command, it's automatically going to run this. So you'll have to put the command again for the second time to make the installation or the model work. So the download is finally completed and it's also pulling some of the, I am guessing these are the files that, or the config files that you need for the model. So I'm hoping that it does not have heavier files because it's, I don't think I have enough space to download another 4 GB or so. Seems the model is downloaded because it says success. So I'm just going to wait to see if it starts working now. So it seems it's ready. At this point is where you would typically send the message. So let's say what is the meaning of live. Let's see if you are able to make the model run locally. So it's definitely working, but it's so the model is definitely installed locally, but it will lag a lot if you don't have great graphics or RAM. So before you run the model, ensure that you have good graphics in your MacBook or laptop. Otherwise it's going to, you know, keep crashing. Now in order to stop running this locally, you can type slash buy and this is going to off board the model if I may, and it will go back to the normal terminal that it was. But you can see it requires a lot of processing power in order to run this locally. So if you don't have a great laptop, don't try it right now. And this system, this installation will work on Mac until they release it for Windows. But to be honest, this is a very good library in order to run open source AI models locally, just to kind of play around and try out with the models. There are notes with respect to the API as well. So you can also kind of use them as API if you know how to, right? So if I go and quote Lama, I think, yeah, there you go. So you can run this as an API here and, you know, post requests in order to get a response from the model, which is similar to what you would do here as well. So this is basically how you would install any open source model and or smog 72 b locally. If you have questions, feel free to drop those in the Q&A or comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.